subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Latest on the Tropical Depression AMBO, which was designated 1W by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center yesterday. Still a tropical depression at this point at 11.5 degrees north, 129.4 degrees east, but it does look like it's on the verge of becoming a tropical storm. At 9 p.m. Philippine time, this is the current situation, 35 miles per hour, that's 60 kilometers per hour, still moving north-northwest at 6 miles per hour, that's around 10 kilometers per hour. CDPS scale has dropped again to stage 3, potential landfall at Dinalungan on May the 15th. There's also expected to be a landfall in Catanduanes, but now the second landfall appears to be the more important one by the looks of things. We could still see typhoon conditions all along that area of Luzon, with significant rainfall amounts reaching 300 inches, uh, 300 millimeters, I'm sorry. Here's its current position then, displayed on the map. Stage three, significant damage potential. And it's currently 300 miles from Tacloban, 383 from Cebu, 395 from Legazpi, 446 from Naga, and 605 from Manila. We've still not seen any signal warnings in effect just yet, but I expect that will happen pretty soon. So here it is right now, uh, what all the other agencies are saying. Interestingly, some automated satellite systems from NOAA and SSEC are, are saying that this system is now a tropical storm, but the official agencies, all the agencies, haven't caught up with that yet, so we'll see if that happens later on. This is the latest cone from Force 13 showing the uh, forecast over the next five days. As you can see, beyond day three, a huge amount of uncertainty. ECMWF still wants it to just saunter around the western side of Luzon, whereas other models such as the GFS and the CMC wanted all the way to near towards Okinawa by day five. So that's interesting to see which way this storm will go. It's very uncertain. Well, this is what the GFS is saying to give you a bit of a better depiction. All of that red area there, that's very humid conditions, high precipitation areas. That's total precipitable water graphics there. So a lot of energy inside that storm as it strikes the Philippines. And I would imagine at this stage, it's probably going to be flooding and landslides that are going to be the biggest concern for the islands, particularly in eastern and northern Luzon. So that's something to look out for in the next three to four days, potentially, as I say, up to 300 millimeters of rainfall, possibly more in isolated locations, and flash flooding would be likely. Sea surface temperatures are fairly warm still at this point. These are displayed in Fahrenheit, so around the mid-80s there. That's around 29 degrees Celsius. One or two areas further south there near Palawan, 30 degrees. Here is what we're expecting from the GFS model. The green areas showing tropical storm force winds. The yellows, typhoon force winds. So you can see just a little bit there, here and there. Mainly on the eastern side, which is facing out towards the sea. And then continuing off towards the northeast. That's just one model scenario. The ECMWF notably taking it much further south, but also much weaker. HWRF, a big outlier right now, calling for a Category 3. The other models have relaxed quite a lot, actually. We were calling for Category 3s almost across the board a few days ago, but now it looks like Category 1 is the best bet. Wind shear is low, but will rise on Day 5. Sea surface temperature is good, relative humidity decent, and you can see the track forecast there. A fairly decent agreement, but it could still track further west and even over Metro Manila. Here is the latest satellite imagery of this system right now though, you can see a bit, just a big large blob of convection over the system at the minute. It's looking very good for a tropical depression. To be honest, I would say that this may well be a tropical storm by now, we're just lacking the evidence to support that at the moment. ASCAT have been a few hours ago, they got very close to tropical storm force winds but not quite. But I think that this will be a tropical storm, maybe overnight tonight or first thing tomorrow morning in the Philippines, which is when we'll have our next update. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. 
To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.